Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be breaking into the old collage collective pages and repurposing it to make a really quick page in my journal. So I've just chosen this page from the collage collective and I've used my red liner double sided tape to stick it down because I'm going to stick it down onto a burlap page. And I have sort of a love-hate relationship with burlap. It is really good to use, but sometimes you just don't want to face it. So sometimes this is what I do. I just choose another piece of art and stick it over the top. It could be a blank piece of paper. Or in this case, I'm actually using something from the Collage Collective. And if you haven't come across that before, it's um, a series of artwork from Dina Wakeley and from Ranger Inc. A lot of her pieces that she's taken out of her journals that she's had printed and you can tear out and use, cut up into pieces, stamp on them, die cut them or use them as entire pages like I'm doing here. So all I'm doing is just adding some stuff to it and I do like to do this um, with pages like this because although I adore the artwork in the background, it is Dina's artwork. I, you know, while I'm certainly hoping to keep the spirit of that, um, I do want to make it somewhat my own as well. So I've just added some collage tissue to the page, which are the black scripty bits. And then I've put some gloss spray through a stencil and then done a backwards print of that as well. So I'm using up the spray in both ways. I've chosen my colors that I'm using on this page based on the colors in the background. So there was that little splash of sort of a ready color in it. So I've used the rouge gloss spray just to sort of highlight that as well there was also a little bit of green in the background so I wanted to bring that in a little bit so I'm just using some green through a stencil as well so you know it's quick in two ways in the fact that you've already got the artwork in the background so your your background's mostly done already and the colors are already there so you don't actually have to think much about the colors that you're using because you just sort of use the cues from what's on the page to pick up extra colors and I find that really really handy when I'm you know uninspired and working in a pinch that I can not have to think about the colors I'm using because I felt this had a really graffiti-ish type feel to it I wanted to add to that so these are the new graffiti uh, stencil alphabet stamps I think from Dina Wakeley um, so they've got that beautiful graffiti type style and um, I'm just stamping them in the background doing some repeated stamping and again I'm using colored ink that matches the colors in the background so I'm using a dark blue I'm using that red just to add to the pops of color I don't care that I can't really read much of it uh, it's just to add a little bit of interest to the bottom of the page because I have blocked out an awful lot of the white on the page, I am cheating somewhat and actually putting some white back in again. And I'm using some acrylic ink to do that. So just using a fan brush to spatter it on and um, drying off in between. The acrylic ink does dry fairly quickly, but um, it does help to just heat set it somewhat. The other thing is, and you'll see me keep doing this, is on this page there are already some words which says I can do it, which I really want to keep um, in the foreground. So I'm just using my Stabilo oil pencil to actually pull that out into the foreground a little bit more. I then wanted to use a stamp in the middle of this face, but I knew it would get lost a little bit because I had added so much there. So I'm just whiting out a little bit of an area with my white paint could have used a paintbrush but you know you've got your fingers for a reason and um, I've just used um, sort of planned where I've put that white now I'm going to uh, ink it up and stamp it down and I actually chose to use a block for this and to be honest I wished I hadn't I don't use my um, stamping blocks very often because my journals tend to be a little bit chunky and I never get a, a really great impression the other thing is I'm also while it is on a, a thicker piece of card it is a, on a piece of burlap as well so you're never going to get a, a brilliant stamped image on it but with a black pen or a stabilo or pencil you can go in and add the extra lines and add the depth to it as well which is what I'm doing now uh, what am I doing oh the chin was a little bit dark or I 
put some black ink there. So just with my white paint pen, I um, added a little bit of extra paint there and painted it out. I'm also putting in some words about the I can do this. So I'm doing my own journaling using the white paint pen. Um, and again, that's sort of echoing all the writing that's on the page already. But it's um, also putting a little bit of me onto the page. And I found by using the white pen in that area, again, it just sort of lightens off that side of the page. So you get this sort of figure really sticking out. I put in a little bit of red onto the lips and the cheeks of my image. And I put some blue into the eyes. I tend to put blue into eyes. I think it's because I've got blue eyes. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just something I tend to do. Um, you can see with the water activation, it also activated some of the Stabilo Oil Pencil, so you got that lovely shading. So once I did this, I really liked it, but I actually wanted to add something else on it. And um, with the new Dina Wakeley tissues, it's got the I Am Imagination. It's got a set of mantras there, and I really like the um, I Can Do This I Am Imagination down at the bottom. So I hope you have a go at looking at your Collage Collective in a new way and certainly adapting them to what you like to do. Don't be afraid to stamp and paint and so on over the top of them. That's what they're there for. Until next time, bye for now.